Today we're putting another set of super glues to the ultimate test. Well, maybe not the ultimate test, but our snap and twist test. And today we're testing super glues with accelerant. <laughs> I'm testing two different types of glues with accelerant, aka glue crack and juice. <laughs> what the hell writes this? <laughs> I want to see if the accelerant can actually make things stronger, not just make it adhere quicker. Or is it just creating a little bit more of brittle heartbreak? So today we're testing Instabon and we're testing Kraken. For good measure, I'm going to use good old-fashioned Loctite without an accelerant just for a control. Each glue will be applied to standard bike handles that we've used in all of our snap and twist tests, but this time we're also adding in our force meter to see what it takes to break apart the bond. Because we're not savages, this is science. Or at least controlled chaos. Okay, let's get our mat out and we're going to bond everything up. Always got lots of extra of these bike handles in PLA. First, we're going to use the Instabond. Let's get them lined up. Make sure these are lined up correctly. Sorry, I kept saying Insta Bond. This is actually Instant Bond. And now we're going to use the Kraken. Interesting. These are in very <laughs> similar shaped bottles. A little bit different of a spray nozzle. This is like an old school spray paint can. This one's more like a modern spray paint can. Okay. Wow, that, that was set pretty quick. I have to say, I wasn't even able to really move that. Wow, that does set really quick. I have to say the Kraken does set really quick. And now our traditional Loctite. So we're going to give the Loctite a little bit of time to set. It's because it's not as instant as... these we'll give it some time to set and we'll be back in about 30 minutes to see if we could twist them apart snap them apart and then we're going to put them in our force gauge and see if we could break them apart so first we're testing the instant bond okay testing time safety first let's get our safety goggles on first we're doing the twist test can't break it Let's do the snap test. Oh, okay. PLA broke. So the glue held absolutely. Okay, now we're testing the Kraken. Twist test, pass. Let's do the snap test. Holy, that's tight. Oh, okay. Same thing, pass the test. The PLA broke, uh, the, the glue held, the Kraken held up. Now, our regular Loctite, we've tested this a lot, but it's sort of our control. Twist test passed. And same thing, the PLA broke, the glue held, which we sort of knew. 
Now we're going to take them and we're going to put them in our force meter and see how much force it takes to split this bond. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use this pointed bit to see if we could put enough pressure in between the PLA to split it. Let's see what happens. We're going to do it that way. So I'm just going to drive this down until we see how many newtons of force it takes to split it. I want to be very precise in where I'm lining it up to make sure it is on that joint. Now this is the instant bond. It is maxed out. It is not breaking that. That's pretty crazy. You hear that beep? It is maxed out. Let's release the pressure. Okay, so the instant pod did really well. Let's see how well the Kraken holds up on this test. Okay, it held. It dented in the PLA. Let's see if we can max it out. I'm going to do it one more time. Let's see if we can max it out. Here's the Kraken. We're testing the Kraken. Let's see. Let's see if it maxes out. Okay, no, no break in the Kraken either. Let's see if we can split apart the Loctite. I don't know. I have a feeling we're not going to be able to do it, but let's see what happens. Zero it out again. Let's get this lined up. We're on the joint. All right, we maxed out the meter. So it's about 50 Newtons. We cannot separate the two pieces with any of the glues. So, here's what I would say. All three of these, now what's interesting is these have accelerants, right? All three of them passed. The accelerants passed, both the Instant Bond and the Kraken. The Loctite passed. We knew Loctite was going to pass. That's why we sort of used it as our control. Um, I probably should have tested it first, considering it was the control. Not very scientific there. I'm not testing it first, but... We saw it was a control. We knew how it would uh, handle this from other tests in the past. So all three passed. Instant Bond, Kraken, and the Loctite. So here's the question. Is faster really better? Considering all the glues did just as well as the other, we really got to look at the cost per ounce. Here's a chart that breaks that down. Now, you can see the size of the fluid ounces that came in each package. And considering all of them tested the same, hands down, Kraken won via cost per ounce. And I'm starting to question my judgment on using Loctite. When I broke down that Loctite is roughly costing $27, almost $28 per ounce. So Loctite is costing way, way more than any of the other glues we tested today. I guess when I started this, my goal was to figure out if faster was better. And in my mind, I thought the accelerates were going to make it a little more brittle. But in fact, they did not. They actually held just as well as our control, which is our Loctite super glue. So drop in the comments below the glues you would like to see me test next. For more DIY science experiments where we break things on purpose, 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, Keep on making.